Hey guys, what's going on here? It's Midnight Banshee here talking to you a little bit around or a little bit after the midnight hour as this is usually the time I get online to peruse the internet, see what's going on, and basically kind of letting people know what's going on over here. First of all, I want to thank everybody who's tuned into the channel. I looked on my viewer count and I'm actually kind of shocked that I've actually surpassed 30 subscribers. Now, yeah, I know you're thinking, that's not a lot of people. Hey, to me it actually is. I was actually surprised that a lot of people, you know, that many people showed interest in my channel. So to all of you who come by, thank you very much. I really appreciate your support. It, it does mean a lot to me, especially since I haven't been doing this for, for very long. I did, I have posted some videos over the last couple of years, but they've been really sporadic. So I thought, you know, why don't I do something with this? Because, you know, I have the, the access I have the tools now because I did go out and get myself a rather nice you know little webcam got myself a little microphone and beefed up my computer a little bit and might as well put it to some use and you know may make some something creative out of it so what's been going on this week well this is my randomness blog I'm probably gonna do this at least once a week if not more is depending on if anything interesting happens um, so the first thing I wanted to go over was um, I have been getting back into being just a little bit of a computer enthusiast granted i i don't overblow my budget like some people do i i do have a job i do have a family you know gotta you know make the ends meet but you know every once in a while i like to throw a little money into my rig and try to make it a little bit better so this is the rig that i started on last year this is it started off as being a budget bill but ended up being not quite so much so what I what I started off with was I started off with a gigabyte FM2 motherboard with eight gigs of 16 megahertz HyperX Fury DDR3 RAM. Um, it's got the AMD A A10 6800K Richland 4.1 processor because I thought you know hey why not you know why not get a processor that has a pretty impressive clock speed. So we got that got the RAM got the motherboard um, got a you know, got a modest 128 gigabyte SSD drive because I've been told that SSD drives are the best way to boot up your operating system. So I figured, you know, why not? So, so I did that. So I did that and also put in a one terabyte um, Western Digital Blue hard drive for all the rest of the stuff, which I'm coming to find out is really not as much space as I was kind of hoping. So I may end up putting in a, another secondary hard drive. Um, but after a while, I thought, you know, I want to start doing a little bit more with it. And as I was starting to think about doing this, all of a sudden my, I go to do some research on my computer and my computer just shuts down, just goes out. So I, that's odd. So I turn it back on, it turns on for a couple minutes and then it just, pff, nothing. I'm like, what the heck is going on? So I, ha I asked my friend Crash Override to come over and find out what was going on with it. So we, we took it apart and we took the, the air cooler off the top and I know you're going to shout at me, don't use the stock air cooler. Okay, I'm an idiot. I use the stock air cooler. It's crap. Okay. We took the air cooler off there, found out that the thermal pad that was used to, you know, put it between the cooler and the CPU pretty much disintegrated. So there was like literally no cooling going on. Thankfully... Thankfully, modern CPUs have an auto shutdown feature to prevent damage to the CPU. So, the CPU was safe in that regard. So, I thought, well, what are we going to do to prevent this from happening? And I've been told that, you know, liquid cooling is the way to go. And, and I know liquid cooling looks awesome if you put the money into getting all the custom loops and the fittings and you do the, the whole filling and everything. But, that's just... A bit above my comfort zone and not something I really wanted to mess with so I went with a closed loop system so I got the side on 120 it's a it's a well, of course it's a 120 millimeter fan blows through the radiator um, the stock fan that came with it is this one here and I put a ring uh, 120 millimeter fan on the other side to actually give it a little bit more oomph to do that push-pull configuration to push the air through it. I did replace the, the power supply because the power supply that came with this, well, actually the entire the entire case, is really underwhelming for any kind of 
anything that you want to do with a little bit of oomph for your PC. So I replaced the Logisys 400 watt power supply with an EVGA Supernova G2 850 watt for two reasons. One, to future proof it a little bit so that way I don't have to replace it after a little while. And two, it's fully modular. And I'll be the first to admit, even with modular, my cord management sucks. Of course, the cord management in this case sucks. I mean, look at this. It looks like an octopus barfed in there. I'm, I'm, I'm lucky this thing has no, hasn't overheated, but, you know, I've got, I've got this as a safeguard. It's got a case fan up here. And then, so, and I've left the side off. So it, it is going to stay relatively cool. And it has, you know, because I use... Uh, open hardware monitor and it and it's not going anywhere near any kind of dangerous level so there's nothing to worry about there but then i thought you know i want to start getting into some gaming because i know some friends of mine especially crash over he keeps telling me about all these awesome games that he's been playing he's been playing grand theft auto 5 he plays skyrim plays batman arkham knight <coughs> terrible port <laughs> um and some other games so i thought well how can i do this how can i you know build my graphics ability to be able to do that so what i did was I did some shopping around. This was like within the last month or two. I finally broke down and bought myself my first dedicated graphics card. Yes, I've said it before. I'm behind the times, okay? Give me a break. Don't judge me. So what So what I did was I went out and got the XFX RX 480. It's an 8 gigabyte card. And what's cool about this is that it's not the blower cooling like it is on the reference card. What it is, it's actually got two fans that that's help move the air through it. And like I mentioned in my other video where I talked more about the RX 480 from XFX, it does come with customizable fans. So, you know, it ended up being a really good card, but I'm finding out that the processor is having a hard time keeping up with it. So I'm probably going to have to do some, some upgrading there, probably upgrade to like an i7 6700k or something like that something beefier something more up to date so that way i can actually do stuff with it but in order to do that i gotta ditch this case i really gotta ditch this case so i did some looking around and i've been binge watching a bunch of tech type videos in fact i i started watching uh jay's two cents on youtube if you don't know who this guy is you really gotta go check out this channel he's got some really cool stuff on there but one of the cases that I saw that was featured on there was one by Fractal, Fractal Design. I can't say XFX, and I can't say Fractal Design without stumbling over my words. So it's the Fractal Design Define R5. Um, it's going to be the Blackout Edition. So instead of having white fans and white hard drive cases, it's all going to be black, which is going to be awesome because I probably won't leave... All the stock fans in there are probably going to take them out, replace them with some of these ring 120 millimeter ones, just to kind of give it that nice cool blue ocean theme that I've been, you know, aiming to keep a hold of. So I'm going to do another video with um, the process of that, getting all the, the octopus junk out of here, putting into the fractal design case, which has way better cord management than this one does. And we're going to, you know, see how, see how neat we can make it look. Going to invest in some zip ties, going to get the tool. So yes, I'm going to try to get with the time. So please be patient with me. Um, beyond that, um, the, the other reason why I went with the Fractal Design instead of one of the ones by Cooler Master is I noticed a lot of the Cooler Master ones, not all of them, but the ones that I saw, didn't have spots in the front for optical drives. And I am still kind of old school. I do like my optical drive. I like to have a DVD CD burner in there because I like converting stuff to CD or DVD. I like being able to rip from CD, CD or DVD if I, if I need to for like the home movies I've had for like forever. Um, so that was kind of a must. So that was another reason why I want the fractal design because they do include a couple of five and a quarter inch bays for such a purpose. So once that comes in, then I'll do, um, it's not really a full build, it's kind of like a transfer build. We're kind of doing a transfusion. We're moving the, the working parts out of one and we're going to insert them surgically into another and hopefully make it look decent. So that'll be a lot of fun. Um, in other news, um, as a lot of people who play play video games, I'm not one who 
always goes for the hardcore games. I'm not the Call of Duty Battlefield type person. I do like, you know, a lot, a lot of kitsch titles, and and I've enjoyed these for years. And of course, one of the ones I got sucked into, I thank my kids for this, <laughs> was Skylanders. I know. I can hear you shouting. Don't do it. It's a black hole. Yes, you're right. Th this game is a total black hole when it comes to if you're a collector. If you're just there to play the game and just want a few figures to play with, you'll be fine. But if you're like me and wanted to get all the really cool figures, because they, they do look cool on the shelf. They really do. So even if you're not playing with them, they still look neat. Now, of course, after a while, you really need some place to store all these. Because we're now on the sixth game. And you figure all the characters that have been in all five of the previous games and all the accessories, that's a lot of room. That is an enormous amount of room. And unless you have a lot of shelvage, yeah, you're going to be buying some drawer units in order to put all this stuff into. But I figure out what the heck. I'll give this new Imagineers game a try because it does introduce the, the creation aspect, which I had a little chance to dink around with. And, and it is cool. You do get a chance to, cre to create your own Skylanders. Here's the thing. And, and I know this has been all over the internet. With each character crystal that you have, you have one of 10 different battle classes, okay? Once you create that battle class, that's locked into that crystal and can't change. Well, not in any normal sense. You, you can, there, there is a workaround to reset it using a, a 3DS and the copy of the first Spyro's Adventure game. And there's a lot of tutorials on that, so I won't bore you with the details on that, but suffice it to say there is a workaround for that. So at least you don't have to worry about going broke, binding every single crystal for every single battle class because I figured it out. 10 different elements, 10 different battle classes, that's 100 crystals. And you total that up, if you were to get all of that, that's $1,000 just in crystals. And, the, and these crystals are small. I mean, you're talking 10 bucks for a hunk of plastic that looks like this. This is what you're paying 10 bucks for. And, and it's cool that you can create them, but this is what you're paying for. And, and, I, and I, like the, I like the new game because it came up with some new characters that I, I really like. Of course, this one. Anybody who's a longtime PlayStation fan knows this guy. So I got Crash Bandicoot. Got the Crash Bandicoot edition with Dr. Neo Cortex and it, it unlocks the Wumpa Islands level and of course they're going to be coming out with the actual adventure pack later so it'll be interesting to see if they come out with a physical playset piece for the Wumpa Islands or if it's just going to be a digital thing that the figures itself, themselves are, are going to unlock. So you know the, the game is fun. It, it's got a good story and it fared a lot better than Disney Infinity did which Kind of figures why they stopped at version 3.0. They figure, okay, we're beating this dead horse into the ground. Time to quit. So now it's pretty much between Skylanders and Lego Dimensions. It's a tough call between those two because Skylanders has been around for a while and it's fun. Lego Dimensions is great because you can modify and it's Legos, which is awesome. So those are about the two main things that have been going on this last week, aside from... Um, doing the other videos that I've been doing um, since last weekend like because we did the the video card battle over crash overrides place and that was a lot of fun in fact I did there's there's two videos on my channel um, that deal exclusively with that that scenario and, and come to find out that his his i7 really loves my graphics card so but it's staying with me because eventually I'm going to upgrade mine to a better processor that'll that'll be able to um, handle those games at least in 1080p. I'm not a four, I'm not a 4K gamer. I, I don't spend that much time playing games to worry about 4K resolution. And I know it looks gorgeous, but it's not me. I'm fine with 1080. It looks beautiful. And as long as it plays Grand Theft Auto 5, Shadow of Mordor, Watch Dogs, and some others. That's basically what I'm looking for. So, um, like I said, once we get the once the new case comes in, we'll do the build for that and get it up and up and running. So, let me know what you think. Did you go out and get yourself a fractal design case? If so, what did you think of it? Did you go out and play the new Skylanders game? If you did, 
What do you think of that? Let me know. Drop a comment down below. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you don't, give us a thumbs down and go find somewhere else. <laughs> but I do thank you for sticking around. I really appreciate your support. Till next time, this is Midnight Banshee here in the House of Randomness, always staying, be true to yourself, and if you can, be a little random and go out and enjoy your life. Take care now.